one that's paid? I could probably print one off. Okay. Because we should be able to take the ones that are paid, take this and the ones that are paid, and take these two or three or four and add those up and we should have the books should balance, right? Except that those have, those have all the of age, them the from age. clear back. Yeah. yeah, it's not just 08. So if we could go and do uh, do 08. Mm -hmm. You want like a, a, a report for unpaid and paid for 08? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Just not what you're doing. Okay. So this is what their balance is. Because what I'm saying, yeah, Angie, okay. if that's the, oh or yeah, or like what was left after their insurance pay or whatever. Because if you had that, then you could look back and say, well, how come we haven't been paid? Well, maybe that, maybe that invoice was lost. You know, it'd be a. The checks and balances. Maybe they didn't receive the invoice or something. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it wasn't filed. Because we, we, I'd like to see one just for, uh, just for 08. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got the runs here and the charges. Mm -hmm. Maybe you had a, an unpaid invoice. Uh, well, yeah, of 08. And ones that are paid. Because I think a lot of these, I mean, I don't know what the limitation is on, uh, is it a year where you can do billing? Three years. Yeah, there's a, it's a year. It depends on what company you're going to. Some of them might be six months. Some of them might be So let's do one for just, let's just do one for OA and see if, and, I, and what I'm saying is just to make certain that nothing has fallen through the cracks. Mm Supplies is what? It's um, our cardiac monitor. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your base rate is just the run itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got, like, you got, this is the amount that you'd be able to, this is the amount that ain't remaining over here. Yes. Yes. And I'll see one here, three cents. Yeah, just well, add that off the books probably. Yeah. And that, that, yeah. So then you do that, and then you charge the mileage. Uh-huh. And then supplies, it's just other uh, than non-cardiac supplies, right? Okay. And then the insurance write-off is what you bill and what they'll pay and right, what they negotiate, say network about. negotiated prices. Okay. And actually, that should have a total, that one should, there should have a total of the payments that we got in 08. Or cash or insurance payments, whatever. Here. 
as to this is pending. Stafford County EMS. These have been paid. Those are the accounts that that, a payment, that payment was applied to. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're paid in full. Yeah. So you'd have to go with the date and go back here and see what they were billed. And then go to the next the same date and see what the, the, the write off was. Does that make sense? That would be a long way to do it. So, what's a simple way? Um, the other simple way would be to just print off to try to get a report of paid invoices. Is that, is that what you're looking yeah, at for yeah, that? Yeah. yeah, is to try to get a report for that of which ones were paid in full and how much they were billed last year. that were billed and paid last year or do you want because say somebody had an account from 07 that was paid off in 08 do you want that or do you just want strictly 08 I just, what I just, was just 08 just, just, just have a yeah. let's, let's cut how it's working in 08 just so we have a checks and balances and make mm -hmm. you know if we look you know if you bill so much there's so much write off we've been reimbursed for this right and by looking at what's been reimbursed and what's been billed, and then your run, that should give us, you know, make certain that the run coincides with the billing and then whatever we get on receipts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because okay. we got four or five out there that, you know, the run was done, but for some reason they were not billed. All the billing usually gets done within about yeah. 30 days. Yeah. So. But I'm saying you, you, there could be a chance you missed some of somebody missed them. The or there could be a glitch in trans, transmitting or something, or they didn't receive their bills. Right. Okay. All right. So maybe with, we get QuickBooks, maybe that'll eliminate some of this cross-references and so on and so forth. It'll say such and such date, we had so many runs, so many billings pending. Yeah, and I realize. I know they're not aging on QuickBooks, right? Then. It tells you anything that's out there that's over. 30, 60, 90, 120. That, that's on there too. On that. Yeah, that's on, that's on this. Mm -hmm. It's on this. It's age. Because I, I understand when it comes to you know commercial insurance, they're a little more quicker in in turnaround. But I, I realize in, on on Medicare, 90 to 120 days. Oh, if you're <laughs> And depending on whether they're tied up in lawsuits or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I know it's. Oh, well, it's, we don't have that claim yeah. on file. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have to submit it. They wait another 30 days. I still don't have that claim on file anymore. Does it cut? I don't know. Because now with Medicare, we're dealing, you know, with CMS, and then CMS has farmed it out to Riverbend up in Wisconsin. You know, and I don't know, does the billing go to Great Bend to, uh, for Medicare? Do you, I mean, do you directly bill? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. It directly bill through Medicare, okay. electronically. Because <coughs> I know at the hospital, it had to go to a clearinghouse. And then it'd come back, and then from there it would be on the CMS, you know, to make certain everything was coded right. I think CMS is out of it. I think hospitals have a lot more 
coding issues. Yeah, they do. You know, that there, they still do DRGs yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. <coughs> But if you look at, at Riverbend, there are now operations <coughs> through CMS. So I think CMS still has a finger in it. Okay. Thanks for bringing this one. Anything else? Right now? Right now, I'm like, well, yeah. I'll let the first one. <laughs> Well, oh, I can, I can, wait, you want to well, do that? Well, I don't stuff? know what. I'm just here to drop off my bedtime. Okay. It might not even take ten, it might take five. I'm just got a second. It's up to you guys. I can do it now, or you want to do it two and then do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. I was ready to stay with everyone. Ten minutes? I need motion. Five minutes. Five minutes. I'll make a motion to go in yeah, the executive session for five yeah. minutes. Yeah. I've talked to two or three people, they're supposed to be letting me know. I, uh, I was surprised and I'm interested if, if you consider me. I don't know how to help you. Did you tell me that? It's about the state council there, sir. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. So I'm not sure it'd be conflict in there's a lot of council. I don't, I don't, I don't think know why. Well. But that's that's Leeds district team then rather. Yeah, I've got I've talked to three other people and they're supposed to be letting me know. Well I talked to the board members and they said they didn't know anything about so I just I've been on York Township board member and they've run a great area. I just thought I had some right in votes. So okay. I just, I just thought I'd appreciate coming up. I'll be really good. Thanks. Thank you. All right, All right. gentlemen. You're on. I just wanted to drop off our bid for you. Now the first page is our bid from my boss. And then the attachments after that are uh, just, I went through and kind of stated some of the reasons that I see for us being a logical choice. And then I also went through and listed several things that we've covered this year you know, from that I haven't seen our county paper cover like the MS director saw in the elections, anything from Maxville, anything from Chapman. Um, you know, basically he yeah. rents whatever people might like put in there. So I, I'll, I'll say, yeah. I think you do a good job there. Yeah. We yeah. try. Lots of subscribers in Maxville. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have lots of subscribers in Maxville and Stafford and Medicine and some of the ladies here as well. And then the other big thing that I want to point out is the fact our paper is available for sale in Maxville, Stafford, and St. John's, where our county paper is. That's right. Unless you have a subscription to the paper, you can't get it in Maxville or in St. John or in Stewart River. Region. So you've got the way back to say after that. Yeah, we have dealers at the uh, Ampride and at the country store and up in Delta. Just recently, they were both selling out by Friday in the weeks, and we got them to up their papers because I was getting people from Stafford calling them saying, hey, where can I get paper? Because we're out. I actually ran 10 more over to one week. So, and you, you, how many have worked with you on? Employed, we have two. We have two full time employees. I have a. Uh, I thought this back to her sister over back when she was just a while. Yeah. Uh, she was just sports. Sports. Yeah, yeah, she was just kind of what we call a freelancer. And, uh, so you're covering all that now, front of Yeah, yeah. And, and I actually have a new girl that um, Amelia Roma or something, her family was oh. from here and she came back and she has a degree at Wichita State. Rodney Christmas. In, oh, yeah. Okay. In journalism. And she had talked to me about doing some freelance work. Sometimes when I get people from Stafford, I was very friends with the Stafford so Saturday, the lady called me up and said, hey, we think this is a good So this is your big problem right there. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I'm going to say, of all things considered, if we're, if we're all exactly the same, I, I think we're the better choice. I think we'll be exactly the same. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I'm glad to bring the chair. Appreciate it. Next week. And then one thing we haven't done, I should say, is we haven't done a really good job about printing your... Uh, commissioner meetings every week. I've been kind of going since we have after we're doing it. I just kind of go through look for highlights and, and cover stuff. I think it's important if we give the county designation 
then we'll start running something every week. It won't be your, your minutes for beta because it'll be probably be uh, slow. You went to uh, 10 minute executive, you're out at 945 yeah, and at 950, you know, we'll go through it. Yeah, we'll have a lot of time left to spend more in executive session we do. Exactly, yeah. yeah, so we'll go through it. Kind of try to reset them up and things like that. It's a little bit more of a story. And then, like I say, if we see important items, then we'll definitely have a reporter come over. We'll definitely have me come over and, and talk to you more about it. All right. Thanks, right, sir. Thanks, sir. I, I don't know if you're interested. Next Monday, they're going to square in to Neely Electric. I don't okay. know what time yet. I'll let you know. Uh-huh. It's 10 o'clock in there. Well, it's, 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 it's up to Judge, judge Keeley. Whenever right. he gets That's down here, he has to go, That's right. I think, everywhere yeah. at this time. So I don't know time yet. Who's been elected? The ones that were elected in November would be like Lee, oh, okay. JD, me, okay. Luann, Lisa. Okay, yeah, yeah, that would be um, good. Jeff, Jeff, Timmer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that would make a nice. But I'll, I'll let you know what time yeah. when I. Sure, give me a call or an email and we'll be yeah. on business. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Right. Anything I need to hang around for today? Any explosive items? Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think this is our agenda. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look Nothing. so excited. <laughs> I figured I better hang around. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You have a good morning. Thank you. 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 Okay, um, in regards to the, the deeding of the Stafford District Hospital over to the Stafford County Hospital, um, why don't you go ahead and explain what... Okay. Um, Frank, Frank, sorry, I didn't know your name, <laughs> brought this in a while ago, and it doesn't have any legal descriptions on it, and he, he knew that. He wanted us to find the legal descriptions for the hospital property so that it could be deeded to the county as the county hospital. However, it's it's more complicated than just making a copy of a deed and attaching it because the hospitals purchased several properties throughout the years and then sold off tracks out of those properties. So there's no one So we don't have to go back their records. And right, there's no one that. particular legal description. So the attorney's doing this and have him do that. Right, so yeah. we started working on it and in fact they had called and wanted copies back last week which ended up being a lot of papers because we made copies of every deed to the hospital and then a copy of the deed where they sold off a tract to several different people or, or mm -hmm. properties. So it was a lot more research than I feel comfortable with just compiling to, to attach to this deed today to file. So he needs to go back and get his attorney or whoever Correct. Go through yeah. Let that go through. I, guess, yeah. I guess the problem is this. He's from Topeka, so he assumes that when you go to to the courthouse, you get the whole deed of mm -hmm. the property and you can attach it. I guess his misunderstanding is a smaller town and doesn't work that way. Well, it shouldn't work uh, that way anymore. Anyway, it should be in a recording that office, the, the document should be complete before you it comes You bring it in and this is what you record and right. that's, that's the end of it. That's um, what it's supposed to be. But he thought we would just be able to put the, the where the hospital sits, the property on this, transfer it, and then worry about the rest of the property down the road. Then separate it. Should be all. Should be all. Because we got all Grand Street building. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, yeah. if it was one little piece of property somewhere, that wouldn't be too big of an issue. You could just make a copy of the deed and, and well, attach it as a as a. Legal this is what I was left with. So. It was confusing. <laughs> so. I understand. Um, That's why I came in to ask you what you So if they just had start. the one track yes. where the hospital sits right now. Just that. Then there's not a there's not But there has been a track sold off of that. Yes. From when the hospital yes. first okay. purchased it. Yes. And then That's what I found the Grand today. Street Clinic and then, then the Grand Street, then the the, the bucket, well whatever it's called. Whatever and then the one across the street and then we own all that. Yes. And then there was I know I was told there was a transfer of property. We switched one part of the parcel for another part of the parcel. But this one should be yeah. noted on here, what, what actually that you're deeding over. Yeah, that's that's what the lawyer said. He right. said, just go down to the register of deed. They should have what you own attached to this, and that should be your schedule. Well, the lawyer. He's misinformed, <laughs> yeah. So you're using somebody in Topeka? That's who Vern was using. I guess the lawyer here was too busy or something like that. Because Rod Lyons usually did all of them. Yes, correct. But from what I read, uh, he was busy, 
for them to burn and went to this guy he's worked with. Oh, the before. Kansas Hospital Association? I guess. I don't yeah. know who he is. Yeah. Well, and we did mail copies of all the deeds, but it's going to be really complicated for just the average person to look at them. Well, be able to hear it. And accessible to be able to figure out what we're trying to do. Normally, there. you need to come up here to look and see what you've got so the right. attorneys so you can get the right kind right. of scripture. Mm -hmm. We do the research on it. And I know also notice that that's notarized and dated, the notary date is December 30th, I believe. Mm -hmm. But there's actually no deed date on there. So that kind of might be an issue that you might want to straighten out with the attorney also. Or the date is blank. Well, the notary shouldn't have notarized a well, document like that. doesn't have a, deed, a date like that. Or, because someone could come along and fill in January 5th here, and you, you can't be notarized before the date of the document. Okay, so go well, check with Rod to see if he can do anything for us first, or maybe maybe he can go ahead and recommend somebody here closer by that could do the schedule, do do that, that can go do the research on it to do what's there. I'm sure it's going to take some research. Yeah, and you should the hospital. I'm. We probably mailed those either Tuesday, or Wednesday. Okay. I'm thinking maybe it was Wednesday. That's just wanted to run that by you guys okay. before we had a bigger problem. <coughs> we want a great problem. Right. That's it. Okay. okay. Thank you. You know where? Hi. Where is Rodney's office? Just, just down, down the street. street. The street. You don't know where it's at. I can oh, give him a call. Why don't you? Let's give him a call. Would you mind? Okay. Sure. So we get this. I'll bundle that up and then we can good. transfer it. And then I'll, I'll get with them. Um, well, let's say, ask them if this is going to affect the transfer. He wanted it recorded on Friday when I told you I came. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He wanted it recorded on Friday. He didn't want it recorded on the 31st. Uh, only well, being because of the computer. I think, I think any time after the 31st, I think it'd be all right. I mean, just to just. Yeah. It could be before the first, but actually, when mm -hmm. the transfer of property is there. But any time after that, I don't think you. I wouldn't think it'd be fine. Yeah, I don't think you. The deed, he retorted. But mm -hmm. see, you, your your deed date has to be before your notary date. Yeah, because that's so it's, they the notary date would be on the thirtieth, which wouldn't be right anyhow. Yeah. Well. So. Well, that, that, so that, that's already spoiled. Right there. So that. Deed so is this done. new. This date needs to be. Right. Say this is the first day of January 2008. Well, we can't notarize, we can't notarize it December 30th, 30. 2009, and have it be okay. legal. See what okay. I mean? The dates have to. This date has to be before, before or the same day mm -hmm. as this. Okay. He's getting the big bucks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry. Right. Thank you. Right. Right. Thanks, Frank. Okay, anything else right now? Good recess. Oh, anything else this morning? There is one thing in regards to the mental health board that well, Mr. McNichol will have to send you a letter that he wants to be off of the board. Okay. okay. Anything else? Uh, I'd ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. We are adjourned.